Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to design the Automobile Blocks body seen here. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is to come up here and make sure you're in design mode here. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to start a new design. So we're going to click right here where it says create sketch. And I always start uh, with this plane right here. And we're going to want to now come up here to our rectangle tool. And what we're going to want to select is our rectangle, but we're going to want to select a little more specific, a center rectangle. So we're going to start here at the center, hence the name center rectangle, and we're going to enter the following dimensions. So we're going to say 1.53, hit the tab button, and we're going to make that 3.17. And go ahead and hit enter. All right, and then we want to add some 2D fillets. So right here under tools, we're going to select fillet. All right. And we want to make those fillets have a radius of 0.3. So we're going to click here and click here and type in 0.3. Click here and click there. You can do it either or you can click on the corners or I like to click on this line and then click on the other line. Okay. Go ahead and hit enter. Now, everything's ready to go let's go ahead now and finish our sketch and then we're going to want to extrude this guy so our 2d sketch becomes a 3d object and we're going to want to extrude that a distance of 3.17 go ahead and type that in and then hit enter so now we're going to make this hole right smack dab in the middle of our passenger section so once again we're going to start a 2d sketch and we're going to click on the top of our face here of our automobile blocks passenger section okay now we're going to come over here we're going to do a create we're going to just do a basic rectangle and we're going to start in the corner here and it's important you don't when you draw it out you don't start it on here on these lines because it'll automatically autodesk fusion 360 will automatically add a constraint when you do that so watch out for these lines or hidden lines things behind there Okay, so we're going to draw out a rectangle, roughly yay big here. All right, hit escape, and we're going to go ahead now and dimension this rectangle. And we want that rectangle from here to here to be 1.59 inches. And from this side to this side, we want that distance to be 1.98 inches. Okay, and now this rectangle screaming at us and it's saying, hey, where do you want me placed? How far from the edges here? So we gotta, we gotta add those dimensions as well. So let's come on here, let's click on this edge. And from this edge, we want that distance to be, according to our dimensions, to be a distance of 0.81, enter. All right, and now we're gonna have to dimension it from the side, okay? So if we click here, and you'll notice that we can't click there when we go to dimension it. And that's because, let's hit escape. This edge right here is not projected on our plane. So we need to come up here to create. We're gonna go down to project. And now this line will be projected onto our plane that we're drawing on. And now we can dimension to it. So we're gonna click here, click here. And we're gonna make that distance a distance of 0.5 inches. Now let's go ahead and take it out of dimensioning mode here and hit escape. So what we want to do now is to go ahead and add those 2D fillets. So we're going to come back to our fillet tool here. We're going to click on those corners and you can make, we want those to be 0.2 and we want to make four of them. All right, go ahead and hit enter. And now we are going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude this guy. We don't want to go this direction. We want to go the other direction. We want to cut a distance of minus 1.07 inches here. Now we need to make the holes on both sides of our passenger section. So what we're going to want to do now is start a sketch right here on this face. Okay, let's come on up to our two point rectangle. I always like to just come from our rectangle right here and we're gonna drag out a rectangle 
about yay big for now. And now we can dimension it with the correct dimensions. And its overall width, we want it to be 2.4 inches. And the height of this rectangle, we want it to be 0.93. And now we need some location dimensions to basically center this rectangle. And from this from this side of the rectangle to the edge of the automobile locks vehicle, we want that to be 0.39 inches. And then from here to the top of our automobile locks passenger section, we want that to be 0.3 inches. Okay, now we can add those fillets and we want them to be, uh, have a radius of 0.2 inches. So we're gonna come up here, click fillet. We're gonna click here and it's already entered. So I'm just gonna continue clicking around. Okay, and then go ahead and hit enter. And don't worry about the warning issue. Let's go ahead now and finish our sketch. We're going to extrude this now. Okay, so click on that portion you want to extrude. And notice we can go out or in, but we want to go in a distance of, a minus distance of minus 0.57, and then go ahead and hit enter. Now, if you're new to CAD, it's very important to note that if you're new to Fusion 360, everything that you've made is down here. Okay, so you, it literally keeps track of every sketch and every extrusion or every feature we have basically added or created. And if you scroll back here and you hit play, it'll show basically your design process. All right, so let's slide it back out here. Now we need to make uh, the hole here on the other side of our automobile blocks passenger section. So there's a couple ways to do this. You can hit your free orbit tool and just sort of hover it around and then hit escape. What I like to do, and this is a great shortcut, is to hold down the shift button and the mouse wheel at the same time. And then if you move your mouse, you can basically uh, rotate it any way you can, any way you want to, and it activates your free orbit tool. So less clicking there. All right, so. Now that we have it where we want to, um, I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch on this side so we can start making that hole. And once again, you probably guessed, we're going to grab our rectangle, two point rectangle, and we're just going to kind of drag out a rectangle here. And let's go ahead and dimension it with the proper dimensions. So it's got an overall length here or width of 2.5 inches. It's a little bit bigger than the other side. All right, something to note. And then this length right here is 1 inch. And now we need to add some location dimensions here. So we can tell this rectangle where we want it, how we want it centered here. So we're gonna click here and click here, and we want that distance to be 0.34, enter. And from this edge to this edge, we want that to be 0.27, enter. And once again, we wanna add our 2D fillets right there. And notice 0.2 is already there, so we can just keep clicking here. And then hit enter. All right, we're already we're all set. Let's go ahead and finish our sketch, and we're gonna extrude this guy the same distance as the other one, okay? Minus 0.57 inches. And the last feature we need to make are the little tiny notches or grooves that go uh, roughly alongside of our automobile locks passenger section. So to do that, we're gonna start a sketch on that same face we just did a sketch on. All right, and we're gonna zoom in a little bit with your mouse wheel, okay? Um, zoom in a little bit more. Let's come on up here to our two-point rectangle. And there's a couple different ways to do this. You can start your square right here on the edge of that fillet, okay? But I'm not gonna do it that way. So uh, I'm gonna come down just like down here and draw it out 
and I'm going to enter those dimensions. And we want it to be roughly a, a square that's 0 0.06 inches by 0 0.06 inches. So I'm going to type in 0 0.06, tab, button, 0 0.06, and then enter. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to dimension it now from this edge to that edge, a distance of 0.3. And that'll basically move it up to the edge of that fillet um, that we put on there earlier. Okay. And now we did the one on this side. We need to do the exact same thing on the other side. So once again, I'm going to grab my two point square here. You can start it right here on the edge of that fillet. I'm going to just come down, draw out a square and make it 0 0.06. Hit the tab button by 0 0.06. Hit enter. Dimension it from the top of our part here, and we want that distance to be 0.3, enter. All right, it looks good, I'm gonna zoom out. Um, so in the future, we're gonna learn about something called the mirror feature, so we only have to make this once instead of making it twice. But for now, you guys need to practice, so um, we're gonna do it on both sides. Let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to basically now extrude these guys um, all the way through. So let's come on up here to the extrude button. We're going to click on that square. And then we're going to click on our other little square over there. And we're going to do a distance over here in our extrude window. Make sure this is dropped down so you can see all these. We're going to do a distance of all and we're gonna flip it so we go the other way and make sure that says cut because you wanna remove the material, right? And then hit okay. And there you have it. There is our automobile blocks passenger section pretty much done. Now the last thing you're gonna wanna do is to give your part a material here. And if you've noticed that the automobile blocks parts are made mostly of wood, at least uh, the body portion of it. So let's come on down come up to design, come on down to where it says render. All right, and we're gonna click on appearance and this box should open and we're gonna scroll down to wood and we're gonna to wanna to select cherry and we're gonna just drag it over there to our part and there you go. All right, and if you have a little bit extra time in your head, go ahead and try an in canvas render, just click there and it will sort of do this really cool uh, 3D graphic of your of your design here. All right. If you have a slow computer, it will take a little bit of time. I'm just letting you know. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you next time.